Hey everyone, I'm the Random Shit Chef, and you're not. That wasn't good enough. So today we're going to make fried rice. Fried rice is a favorite with my wife and mine, and it is so simple and easy to make. My first wife could probably make it without screwing it up. Her idea of cooking was like microwaving a couple of frozen burritos and opening up a can of chili and heating it up. This is simple, easy, takes next to no cooking skills. You'll get it right the first time. So here's what we need for fried rice, at least the way I'm making it this time. I hardly ever make it the same way twice. We need three cups of pre-cooked rice, about a half a cup of chopped onion, half a cup of chopped fresh green beans, about a full cup of chopped pre-cooked meat, and two eggs, well beaten. Then we're gonna wind up adding about a quarter to a half a cup of soy sauce, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. Pretty simple stuff, huh? So here we've got one of my favorite frying pans. It's pretty old, pretty beat up, pretty scarred up. It might be my favorite because it looks like me. I'm pretty old, pretty beat up, and pretty scarred up too. But it works great. So I'm going to start off on high because I'm one of those impatient kind of guys. The recipe that I fought basis on calls for two tablespoonfuls of oil. I, as usual, am going to use spray oil. I use a olive oil type of oil. So we're going to let that heat up just a little bit. And we're going to start adding ingredients. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take our two beaten eggs and we're going to fry those. They won't take long, they don't have to be perfect, they just need to be solid. Okay, so it's firming up pretty good when it, I'm going to flip this. If you flip it and it breaks, big deal, we're going to cut it up anyway. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, that looks like it's done. So now, and that took all of what, two or three minutes. I'm going to put those on a paper plate, and those are going to wait for me to cut them up while I'm cooking the rest of the stuff. Earlier, if you're using raw meat, you would have to cook the meat first. But see, I'm not using raw meat, I don't have to do that. So now we're going to add the meat, the onions, and the vegetables, no matter what vegetable you pick doesn't have to be green beans. And we're going to cook that to get a tender. Eh, five minutes or less probably. Now would probably be a good time to turn the heat down a little bit too. I went down to medium. So we're going to cover that, let that cook and soften up for a couple minutes. time for me to cut up my egg. Don't have to do anything fancy with the egg. I just fold it over, cut it a couple times one way, and I cut it up the other way.
And yes, it is still a little bit hot. Okay. Okay, so this has been going for a couple of minutes. Mm, it started to smell kind of good already. I'm going to let that go just a little bit more. Now let's check this. And I think that's cooked well enough. Neither one of us like mushy vegetables. We like our vegetables to be a little bit firm, maybe even have a little bit of snap left to them. Okay, now it's time to add the rice and the soy sauce. I'm missing an onion there. Okay, I fluff my rice a little bit, and in it goes. And a little bit more just for good measure. I can mix this up. Fluff the rice a little bit more. Try to get rid of the lumps. It's looking like fried rice already, sort of like from the restaurant. Okay, so we're going to put the cover back on, let that cook a little bit longer. We're going to turn the heat down to low, because we don't want to burn anything, we just want to cook it and heat it up. Alright, so at this point, we're roughly 10 minutes into cooking fried rice. Okay. We'll want to stir this once in a while, make sure we don't start to stick and burn. Alright, let's check that again. Looking pretty good. I think we can go ahead and add the uh, egg right now. We're about, I don't know, 13 minutes into the cooking. And at this point is when you want to add extra seasons. I found that in cooking, if you season too soon, you cook a lot of seasoning right out. I especially learned that when I was doing soups and stews. My wife loves pepper. And let's mix that up. Now you can put mushrooms in here. You can put crab. You can put lobster. I mean, it's pretty forgiving. You can do almost anything you want with it. All right, we're gonna let that cook for a couple more minutes. Okay, let's take a quick look. That's looking and smelling like fried rice to me. 
Total cooking time, about 15 minutes for me. Prep time, gathering stuff, cutting stuff up, was maybe 10 minutes. So we started off with three cups of rice. We probably got four or five servings here at least. So actually this wouldn't be a bad family meal if you have a small family. All right, I think we're done. No, I know we're done. Let's cover it back up so it doesn't dry out. Turn off the heat. And voila, fried rice. And there we go, fried rice just like that. It's simple, it's quick, it doesn't take too many ingredients, and it's not expensive. <laughs> it's so good. Total cooking time was what? About 15 minutes. If you count cooking the rice, well, that's like 35 minutes. But, I mean, you put on the rice, it boils for 20 minutes, you set a timer, you don't have to worry about it, so I don't really count that in the cooking time. Prep time, I spent maybe 10 minutes collecting stuff and dicing stuff up. So you can have a meal in less than a half hour. Well, try it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching uh, Random Shit Chef. And, oh yes, I forgot. One of the reasons I made fried rice is I'm also making egg rolls. So anyway, next episode, egg rolls right here on Random Shit Chef.